academic progress rates are a new term that, that college fans need to know about. Uh, how is San Jose State doing with the APR? Well, the APR has been a, uh, been a, been a mode of, uh, of, of a hunkered down mentality since we got here, specifically in the sense that when we got here, the APR scores for, for eight of the 16 teams were below 925. So for the first time this sp last spring, we had all 16 teams achieve a 925 in APR score. It's remarkable to, to, when you start to place this because it's why football has been in the penalty phase it's been in. We have, since we've been here, since Dick and I have been here as, as, as building this football program, we have not had 85 scholarships because the APR penalties took an effect right away in 05, 06, 06, 07, 07, 08. This year we'll be up to 75 fulls in football, 21 initials. The football team achieved a 950 APR and is one more cycle from getting up, up through the penalty phase into full 85 restored, full 25 initials and going forward. We are in an appeal phase with a waiver, and we're waiting here on that. I'm very, very confident that we'll get a very positive response from the NCAA. We have done everything the NCAA has asked for us. We have done two APR audits. We have redesigned our academic program. We hired a full-time learning specialist, three full-time academic advisors. We hired the assistant athletic director, Eileen Daly, for academic services. I put 925 requirements, APR requirements, in every coach's contract. We're the only school in the country where you as a head coach can be removed if your team doesn't score above a 925, period. We also took our scholarships and told our student athletes it's no longer a year scholarship, it's semester to semester. And we're the only school in the WAC that does that, so within the first semester, if you're not academically eligible, we pull your scholarship. We've done all this kind of dynamic to make our student athletes understand academics first, athletics second. And you're starting to see the results of that. The men's soccer team had 13 members of their team score above a 3.0. We've had more academic success in the last 18 months than we had prior. So from our standpoint, it's almost fixed. It's almost turned. It's very close. And it will be a real push, especially for programs in historical penalties, such as football and men's soccer. Men's basketball is, is cutting the edge and bucking the trend because we're the one program in the country that's making huge strides in our academics and they've received an award this fall because of their APR. So, I mean, I think we're in good stead. For people to look across the board and they noticed uh, what level of universities were running uh, into more problems that had to do with academic support, you talked about the academic support that you have added. Um, is there an awful lot of inequities as far as the amount of money that different athletic departments are spending towards academic support? Yeah, I, I would tell you that the reason a lot of the larger schools in the BCS conferences are not receiving the same kind of scrutiny that we're receiving is because they've been able to throw money at it quickly to create learning specialists, um, retention, learning facilities, computers. When we got here, there were three computers for 477 student athletes. Today, we're up to 11. I need 50 computers. If, if all said and done, but we're not there yet. So we continue, we've pushed more allocation and more funding into academic support over the last 12 months that's ever been done here. That was absolutely necessary to get us out of this penalty phase and put us in the right track because that's what it takes to build an APR program that's above 925, period.